when the outside temperature starts to rise, an air conditioner helps maintain a cool indoor environment. This device cools the air by drawing warm air over cold evaporator coils and then redistributing the cooled air inside the house. Additionally, it releases the heat that has accumulated outside. A house can quickly become uncomfortable without a functioning air conditioner, so it's critical to act quickly if you discover a problem with the device. A frequent issue with air conditioners is the possibility of water leaks. Turning off the air conditioner should be your first action if you notice this. This may be sufficient to stop the leak in certain situations, but if frozen evaporator coils are the cause of the leak, it may take up to an hour for the coils to completely thaw. After clearing any standing water on the floor with a shop vacuum and some towels, get ready to examine the appliance. Learn the 7 reasons your air conditioner leaks and how to fix it with this guide. It's the Home Solutions YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Rect Insulation The lines that connect the indoor air conditioner to the outdoor condenser unit are insulated to help keep condensation from building up on other parts of the air conditioner. However, insulation cannot effectively stop condensation from forming if it is ripped, stripped, or otherwise damaged. This could just drip outside or it could run into the house and create an active leak, depending on where it happens. Replacing the damaged insulation in the air conditioner will fix the problem. Insulation is usually available online or at your neighborhood home improvement store. Dirty air filter A dirty air filter happens to be one of the easiest issues to resolve. The air conditioner has a harder time cooling the house when the air filter is clogged because it partially blocks the airflow into the unit. The likelihood of the evaporator coils freezing increases with the length of time the air conditioner runs. Ice accumulates on the outside of the coils when they freeze, but this is not a problem until the air conditioner is turned off for a few minutes. The ice melts into water during this time because the warmer air thaws it. The air conditioner starts to leak water all over the floor as soon as the meltwater fills up the small drain pan faster than the water can drain away. All you need to do to solve this issue is to replace the air filter frequently. Frozen Evaporator Coils Evaporator coils are used to cool the warm air that enters the system. This implies that in order to lower the temperature of the air as it passes over the evaporator coils, the coils themselves must be cold. When this happens, the extra moisture in the air is left behind and condenses to stick to the coil. The condensation should ideally fall into the drain pan and run out of the condensate drain line. On the other hand, ice may start to accumulate on the evaporator coils if the air conditioner has been running for an extended amount of time. The likelihood of the evaporator coils freezing increases with the length of time the air conditioner runs. The warm air from the air conditioner thaws the ice when it shuts off. Leakage occurs when the meltwater swiftly fills the drain pan to overflowing. The most common cause of this problem is a dirty air filter, but other potential causes include objects obstructing the airflow around the air conditioner or an excessively low thermostat setting. Replace the air filter, clear out any obstructions, and turn up the temperature to a more comfortable level to fix the issue. Clogged condensate line Clogged condensate drain lines due to dirt, dust, or other debris are another potential problem. When condensation builds up in the drain pan due to a clogged drain line, there is nowhere for it to escape, which causes the drain pan to overflow. A mild vinegar and water solution can usually be used to clear the condensate drain line. Any mineral deposits, dirt, or grime will be broken up by the vinegar, allowing water to flow into the drain. If this doesn't clear the obstruction, you might have to use a shop vacuum to remove the clog. You can replace the condensate drain line as a last resort. Leaking Drain Pan Condensation falls into the drain pan when it forms. However, the accumulated condensation may seep out of the drain pan and onto the floor if it is severely rusted, cracked, or otherwise damaged. Replacing the drain pan is the only way to stop the leak. DIY enthusiasts with prior HVAC experience might be able to handle this repair alone, but those without such experience might be better off hiring a professional HVAC repair company. Similar to this, if the drain pan was not put in correctly or was put back in incorrectly after a repair, it may be slanted, allowing water to pool in the corner rather than drain into the condensate drain line. The water will eventually overflow the drain pan as it continues to accumulate. In such a situation, it is advised to level the unit by getting in touch with the installer or another qualified HVAC repair specialist. Refrigerant Leak Refrigerant is needed by air conditioners in order to cool the evaporator coils, which in turn cool the incoming air. You might hear bubbling or hissing sounds coming from the unit if there is a leak in the refrigerant line or any other parts that contain the refrigerant. In a similar vein, ice accumulation on the coils due to leaking refrigerant can result in the appliance leaking water. Never try to resolve a refrigerant leak on your own if you have any suspicions about it. It is advised to contact a qualified HVAC repair specialist to evaluate the situation, fix the air conditioner, and refill the refrigerant because refrigerant leaks can be extremely dangerous. Damage Condenser Unit The portion of the air conditioner that is outside the house is called the condenser unit. Contrary to popular belief, the condenser does not draw air in from the outside. 
Rather, this air conditioner component helps lower the overall temperature inside the house by releasing the heat that has accumulated outside the house. The air conditioner may leak water if there is a refrigerant leak, a broken gasket, or a crack in the condenser housing. In order to evaluate the damage and recommend next steps, it is advised that you get in touch with an HVAC repair expert. More serious situations might require replacing the entire condenser unit, but in some cases the problem can be fixed with a minor fix like replacing the damaged gasket. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.